Would you buy an American Ute as a tow vehicle in Australia? Well, there's a lot of reasons why you would. These three vehicles are built for towing in the USA. And now they're coming to Australia in left-hand drive and there's companies right here in Australia converting them to right-hand drive. And we've got hold of three of the best. We've got a Ford F-150 with a 5 litre V8 petrol, a Ram 1500 with a 5.7 litre V8 petrol and a Chev Silverado 1500 with a 6.2 litre V8 petrol and we're going to put these three vehicles head to head towing 3.5 tonne. We're going to hook up our own mountain trail FXV 6.5 which is a 21.5 foot van. We've loaded it to 3.5 tonne with 300 down ball loads on the tow bar and we're going to do a competition and work out which one of these three vehicles is the best and which one you should buy. So the first thing we're going to do is a fuel economy test. It's a 70 kilometre loop winding through the hills of Bethanga, over the bridge, around the lake, and see which one comes in best on fuel economy. We're going to do an engine performance test as well. We're going to do a zero to 100 using an app to see which one gets to 100 kilometres an hour first. We're also going to do a hill climb. We're coming to the bottom of a hill at 80 kilometres an hour. We're going to put our foot flat to the floor and see if we can hold the speed or even gain the speed. We're going to do a suspension and handling test to see which one feels the best suspension, towing, handling. And the last thing we'll do is a weight specifications test. So guys, get set. This is going to be a great test for these three American vehicles. Sit back and relax and let's get on the road and get them tested. We're in the Ford F-150. We are. Five litre V8 petrol, putting out 287 kilowatts and 542 newton metres of torque. Yeah, it's a lot. But do you know what the thing about these vehicles is? It's not really about the engine performance as such, which makes them a good vehicle. It's more about their capacities for towing. Okay. What we're talking about here is gross vehicle mass, tear weights, payloads, and GCM, which is gross combination mass. Yep. Gross combination mass is the maximum this vehicle can be on a waybridge with a trailer hooked on the back of it. And the gross combination mass on this vehicle is how much? 7,323 kilos. And the tear weight of this vehicle is how much? Yep, it's 2,350 kilos. So if you've got a GCM gross combination mass of 7,320, whatever it is, yep. minus 2,350, that is approximately five ton. Yeah. So you can have four tonne on the back. Yep. And your payload exactly is 973 kilos. Well, there you go. So they're huge numbers. What's interesting to know is all these three vehicles were all originally built in a left-hand drive configuration yep. and converted to right-hand drive right here in Australia. This one here, the Ford Rim, was converted by a company in Melbourne called VDC.
Here we go, the hill climb test. Coming to the bottom of the corner, I'm doing exactly 80 kilometers an hour. Around the corner, I'm in haul mode. Here we go, flat to the floor. Holding 80, 81, 83, 84. Around the corner, still flat to the floor. 81, 80, it's holding 80. I gotta back off. Woo! Brakes are good. Came up to the zero 100 acceleration test. We have an app on our phones. Go to a standstill, foot flat to the floor, and see how fast this gets to 100 kilometers an hour, 60 miles an hour for our American friends, towing three and a half ton. This really pushes the engine to the max, and we'll see how it compares coming up to the Ram and the Chevy Silverado. F-150, here we go. F-150, five liter V8 petrol, zero to 100 from a standstill. Three and a half ton in the back. Ready, set, go. 10 speed automatic, 50 k's an hour already. 70, 75, 85, 90. Boom! 100. All right. Did you get a time? Yeah, I did. Oh, it's good. Is it quicker than the uh, the Fords? Uh, yes. Is it quicker than the <laughs> Nissan? I think it might be. The Patrol? Is it quicker than... I think it might be. The Supercharged Patrol? Oh. Is it quicker than... The Land Cruiser? Yeah. Yes. That is pretty phenomenal. Did you know that this is America's number one highest selling vehicle in its range in the 1500 class? Really? I did not know that. The Ford F-150. Yep, dominates and gets more sales than any other vehicle in this class. It feels good. Yeah, it does. It feels solid on the road. It's towing no problem at all. Obviously, there's no sway or anything like that. Yep. And I would certainly recommend that it's a tow vehicle, 100%. Yeah, absolutely. It's four-wheel drive. It's got low range if you need it. You can put goods in the back, but it's comfortable. How comfortable is it? Yeah, it's really comfortable. Leather's yeah. nice, the lumbar support's good, seats are good. Yeah. It is the next day. We are in the Ram 1500, 5.7 litre V8 petrol, 291 kilowatts. Yep. And how much torque? 
556. 556, so just marginally more than the Ford. So what's really impressive about the Ram is the specifications, as in the weights and capacities. Yep. This one has been converted by SCD and OzMV are the dealer network for SCD converted vehicles in Brisbane. The tear weight of this is 2,429 kilos. Yes. And the GVM is 3,630 kilos. Yep. Which means it's got a load capacity of 1,200 kilos. Yeah, it's huge. 1.2 tonne. Yep. That's massive. And the GCM is 7,711 kilos and the towing capacity is four and a half. You can put a four ton van on the back of this and really not need to worry too much about it. Yeah, exactly. Impressive. Very. Here we go. We're coming to the hill climb. Tow haul mode. It sounds crisp too. It does. Okay, we're holding 80. Coming to the bottom of the hill. And on it. All right. Here we go, flat to the floor. We're gaining 85, 87. 88, 89, 90. Oh, I've got to slow down Ooh, a bit for the okay. corner. Here we go. 3.5 ton on the back. 80, holding. 81, 82, gaining. 83, 84, 85, and break. And break. Woo. Here we go, zero to 100, Ram, 1500, 5.7 litre. What we've been waiting for, fastest time we've ever done is 13 seconds in a supercharged patrol. This is the V8 Ram. Count me down. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go. Spin. 40, it's spinning wheels, 55, 60. 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay. All right, what'd you get? Ooh. Wow. What'd you get? 13 seconds even. 13 dead. Yep. Really? We've been driving the Ram 1500 all day. Yesterday we did the Ford F-150. Yep. What is more noticeable or anything between these two vehicles so far? For me, inside, I feel like I'm more in the vehicle rather than being up looking over a cockpit. I feel like I'm really in it. So it I'm feels happy sportier, does it? It does, yeah, and it feels kind of smoother. What do you think? I think the car definitely 100% feels sportier. The engine performance, like, listen to it now. Yeah. It's just ready to go. The exhaust note from inside sounds sharp and clean. Yep. It's handling the road really well. It feels a little bit kind of softer, but it's not moving much. It feels very stable, and I think that's because it has coil springs in the rear. Yeah, that makes sense. Where the sense. Ford has leaf springs in the rear. I really like it. I really like its driving performance and the way it's behaving. Let's get this back to Mountain Trail RV and get hooked up on the Chev Silverado.
All right, guys, we're in the Chev Silverado 1500 6.2 litre V8 petrol, and I'm excited about this one. Yeah, me too. The conversion on these cars is unbelievable. You can never tell they were converted. So if you are worried about conversion, do not worry about it at all. This one has been converted by Walkinshaw. It used to be called HSV. It puts out 313 kilowatts. It's good. And how much torque, Heidi? 624. 624 newton meters of torque. That's the biggest out of all. That is the most amount of power out of all of them, yes. Now, tear weight on the Chev Silverado, 2,540 kilos. GVM, gross vehicle mass, 3,300. So the payload is about 760 kilos, not quite as high as the other two vehicles, but it does have a four and a half ton towing capacity and you can load it up with a GCM, gross combination mass, 7,160. So let's get this test underway and see how the Chev Silverado performs compared to the other two vehicles. Yeah, let's do it. We're coming to the hill climb. Okay, coming into the bottom of the bridge at the creek crossing at 80 kilometers an hour. Turn the corner, flat to the floor. Oh, listen to that. Five and a half thousand revs, 90 kilometers an hour. 6,000 revs, 97. Slow down for the corner a little bit. Down to 90, back on it. 84, 85, it's holding, 86. 87, 88, come on, 89, and 90, break. and brake for the corner. You can definitely tell more newton meters of torque gives it more power. The engine sounds sweet from inside the vehicle, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. think of this? I like it. You like it? Yeah. What do you like? I like that there is so much room mm. to move with the seats. Feels spacey? Yeah. And the seats do have a lot of movement. Look there, at that. There's a lot of movement. Wow. The, I feel like a high tower at a police academy. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Just rip the front seat out and sit in the back. There's that much room. You haven't seen police academy? No. You don't know who high tower is? No. Okay. Chev Silverado 1500 6.2 litre V8 petrol. Are okay. we ready? I'm ready. Count me down. Ready. Set. Go. Woo! Yeah. 60 k's an hour, 6,000 revs. 85. Boom! Woo! What'd you get? 11.95. 11.95. That is flying. That certainly is. We are back from our test. The first vehicle we did and we'll go over right now is a Ford F-150. Fuel economy. 
On the 70 kilometre loop, we actually drove the loop twice. We did the first one and then we went around again driving normally. Came in at 25.4 litres per 100, which I think is really good towing three and a half tonne. Engine performance, on the two tests we did, the hill climb, it actually gained speed. It went from 80 kilometres an hour up to about 87 k's and it's a very steep hill. Now the zero to 100 actually blew us away. We didn't reveal the results while we're doing it, but we'll tell you what they are right now. It came in at 12.95 seconds and this vehicle puts out 287 kilowatts, a great result. Now suspension and handling, this vehicle behaves perfectly on the road towing. The back didn't drop down too much. It is smooth, it is solid, it is predictable. So we gave it a really high score for that as well. Now regarding weights and specifications, the limit for towing on this vehicle here is four tonne, but you have a payload of 973 kilos. So this will tick all of the boxes. Overall, we think the Ford F-150 is a great reliable vehicle and we would certainly recommend it. Now, the Ram, fuel economy, 23.18 litres per 100, so that was better than the Ford. Engine performance, this engine feels sharp. It came in and gained speed on the hill climb, also very similar to the Ford F-150, came up to the top around 87 as well. And then the zero to 100, we put our foot down and we had a couple of traction issues which you would have seen. The power was delivered that quick that it spun and left rubber on bitumen and we got to 13 seconds dead. We came back, we did it again and got another 13. Now, suspension and handling. This behaved so well. And we think it's because of the coil suspension. We just felt that the vehicle didn't move around at all. It just stuck to the road. It's smooth, it's predictable, feels reliable. The back didn't drop when we put the ball load on it either. And as far as weight specifications go, four and a half tonne towing, 450 kilo down ball load, a 1200 kilo payload, which is huge, and the GCM gross combination on this vehicle is 7.7 .7 tonne. So this is very, very highly rated and we really enjoyed the Ram. The Chev Silverado 1500, 6.2 litre V8 petrol, fuel economy, bang on 24 litres per 100. So sitting right in the middle between the Ford and the Ram on fuel economy. Engine performance, what an impressive engine this has. When we came into that first corner on the hill climb and put our foot down, we actually hit 100 k's an hour before the first bend. We had to slow down and then we hit it again and we got to 90 k's. So there's the torque. You can see it's got a lot more torque and that's where it comes through, that pulling power. Zero to 100, 11.95. It just blew us all away. We did it three times as well and it kept hitting 11.95. Suspension and handling. It behaved really well on the road, cornered well. The only thing we noticed is a little bit softer than the other vehicles and the back went down when we put the ball weight on it. But it can be easily resolved by putting a special suspension kit in the back of it like maybe airbags. Now weights and specifications. Four and a half ton towing and a 760 kilo payload. So not quite as high as the others in payload but still quite acceptable for towing three and a half or even a four ton van. The winner, it won three out of four. Fuel economy, suspension handling, and weight specifications. The winner is the Ram 1500 5.7 litre V8 petrol. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like down below, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more episodes coming out. And if you want to know anything about our vans, check out mountaintrailrv.com.au. Thanks for watching. That's not good. Hey, that, is, that is not good. It's into the side of a rock. So uh, this one's down. Yeah. We're going to come back with a backup drone. Let's go. Let's continue.